Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Blake. I am a fashion, beauty, lifestyle blogger over on Instagram. And if you're not new here, hi, hello. I miss you guys. I love you. I am coming at you today with a Nordstrom haul. Um, you guys seem to really enjoy the Abercrombie haul. So I actually went on Nordstrom. You guys know the drill. I feel like I don't even have to tell you, but I went on Nordstrom for one thing. Next thing you know, I blacked out. My shopping cart was like $500 and here I am with a whole new summer wardrobe. I wanted to share with you guys everything that I've got. I will tell you what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to return, and I'll tell you like sizing. The good thing about what I got from Nordstrom is that nothing, actually one, only one or two out of like 15, 16, 17 items was over $50. So everything is pretty affordable and I have just so many cute new pieces that I can't wait to style. There were some misses, but let's just get into it and I'll show you guys everything that I got. All right, first up is this just super casual summer outfit. These jean shorts I got in a size 25. They run a tiny bit small. I'm usually between a size 25 and 26, so I went with the 25 and they're not bad. They're not too tight, but they are on the smaller side. And let me show you guys how much they are. These were $29, so under $30 for these. And they have the rips here. They're a little bit longer in the back. They have the frayed. What I really like about these denim shorts is the color of them. I don't like denim shorts that are like way too light or way too dark, but these are absolutely perfect. The rips are not too much and they don't like give you sausage legs when you sit down, which I really like. And they come up super high. We love them. Uh, I think that these, this is a really, really, really good pair of denim shorts. I will absolutely be keeping these. And then this knit tank top, so pretty. I love the color of it. I don't really own too many pink things, so I wasn't necessarily drawn to this at first, but when I saw it, I was like, you know what, let me give her a try. Also, the main reason that I wanted this is because I wanted a little bit of a longer tank top so I could do the TikTok shirt hack. Um, where you put it through and then twist it. Let me show you that in a second. So I'll just show it here. Um, so what you do is you take your strap. I have a TikTok as well that I can link for you guys, but you take your strap and you just weave it under and then put your arm back in. It will look the same in the front as it does in the back and this is what it looks like i did get a size small or extra small i will put it on the screen and this was also 29 dollars as well it fits really well and it is super soft it's not itchy at all and yeah it's super cute i will be keeping both of these this cute little picnic style dress i like to call it like i feel like this would be such a cute dress if you're like on vacation exploring a new city or something you just throw this on you look so put together I just love the structured part of the bust here. And then it does have a little slit here. So my short girls, this actually makes us look a little bit longer because our legs are a little bit more exposed. And I just paired it with some platform cons, you know, dress it up, dress it down. You could wear this with heels, wear it with sneakers, whatever you feel comfortable. I did get this in an extra small. It is $40. It also comes in a peach color, but I've just been super drawn to this blue color lately. And it has a zipper up the back and I just, I just love this piece. So I will definitely be keeping this one as well. Okay, so this dress, kind of similar to the last one with the split and then the spaghetti straps, but this one is cotton, whereas the other one was, I believe it was like a linen blend. But this one is super nice for just like lounging, hanging out, running some errands. I don't know. I mean, I probably wouldn't run errands in this, but I know some people would. It fits really nicely. It is more of a bodycon dress all around. The one thing that I don't like about this dress is that these straps are not adjustable. So I have like a pretty wide back and I feel like when I can't adjust the straps, I'm like, I don't know, I feel like claustrophobic in it. And, but other than that, I think that it's really cute. It is a little bit cheaper than the last one since it is just a cotton dress. This one I got in an extra small and it is $25. 
We also have some really cute butterfly detailing. I just love this color as well. I usually don't go for a purplish pink color, but I really am just trying to expand my closet and just expand like my sense of style. I feel like lately I have been going more towards like colorful things and funky prints because for the last like two or three years I've been pretty much solely doing neutrals and I do love neutrals still like I'm a neutral gal but I think just like being cooped up in the house for the last like year and a half I want to just like kind of play around with my sense of style a little bit and it's really nice to be able to do that at such like an affordable price point like this was only $25 so I really really enjoy it paired it again with the platform cons and yeah I think it is super cute so I will be keeping this one as well Okay, this is quite possibly my favorite outfit of all time. These pants, I'm sorry if you follow me on Instagram and watch my stories, you've seen these pants multiple times. I only got this order probably three weeks ago and I have worn these pants multiple times. I just love them, they fit so nicely. The bottom comes right to the bottom of my ankle, which is really nice. I think that the fit is so flattering, they're like stretchy. They don't gap at my waist, which is literally mind blowing because every pair of pants does that. They just fit so nicely. I got a size 25, I'm um, between a size 25 and a 26, like I said before. I just wish that they had more colors, to be honest. Like I wish that they had like a plain black pair or like a plain white pair and even more colors in this like pattern as well because I would buy literally all of them and they are $49. I also love how they have like a little bit of detailing as well with this like strap and they're just so freaking good they're just so good i am obsessed with them and then i picked up this little top to go with it this is only ten dollars i got an extra small and i think that this comes in like 15 other colors i will say that it is pretty see-through i don't mind too much if that's something that is going to bother you i would get a darker color but again super cute just little spaghetti strap $10, can't beat it. All right, next up is this green plaid puffy sleeve dress. And I don't know, I go back and forth with like loving it and then being like, no, that looks weird. On the website, the model was wearing it with these white platform docks and I just really loved how it was styled. But I don't know, I just don't think that I love it on me. And then I'll like look in the mirror and I'm like, wait, no, that's actually so cute. But I don't know. I don't think that I am going to keep this one only because I have so many other cute things from this haul that like this one is not something that is like standing out to me. But I do love the plaid. I like, I really do like the colors. It does fit well and it is cute, but I would like it probably an inch shorter and maybe taken in a tiny bit. And this one I got in an extra small. It is $49. And although that's not like a super high price point, it's just not something that I think that I'm going to ever wear, so I'm going to return this one. Okay, don't like at me for whatever this outfit is. I know that it's very interesting, but it's just like kind of what I had paired together when I was shopping. I had a few girls ask me if I could find an affordable pair of denim shorts that is not distressed and is a little bit longer. So I found these ones and I really, really, really like them. I got them in a size 25 and they are $30, just like the other ones, but they are not distressed. They are a little bit longer. They do run a little bit bigger than the other ones as well. I'm gonna turn around, let me see the back. They're not like Bermuda shorts, but they are definitely not like super short and then i got this little tank top it is double lined so you don't have to worry about your nipple showing or anything like that these straps are not adjustable but the shirt is very like soft and kind of like springy so you're not gonna like feel the tension on the straps which i really like and then um the hat if you have a problem with like bucket hats being way too big for your head which is a problem that i have often this one is actually pretty small and fits my head really nicely so this might be a really good option for you and i just think that it's so cute with the little butterfly and it's saying in this together it's very very summery very cute very y2k we love so yeah i'm going to keep all of these pieces except um i will not be wearing them together because i feel like i am a child and the tank top, I got an extra small and it is 
Okay, my brand new camera almost just fell over, so I have to be a little bit more careful. But this outfit is the most expensive outfit that I got. The top is $69 in a size extra small, and then the pants are $59 in an extra small. You can't really see the bottom of the pants because, you know, you have to film horizontally, but like, I'm sorry, what? Like what? What? What is this? These are so long. I thought that this outfit would be so cute for like a lunch on the beach. Specifically, I was having Cabo in mind, but yeah, I just think that the pants are too long. I'm gonna see if they have them in a petite because a lot of times they do, but I think that if you were taller, I'm only 5'1", that these would be really, really good for you. Absolutely stunning queen, those long legs of yours. Um, but the little sweater vest, I think that I am going to keep it because I do have another pair of pants that I think that it would go nicely with. But yeah, gonna return the pants, going to keep the little sweater vest because again, this is something that I don't have. I don't think I have anything like this in my closet. so. It's a really nice staple, it's a really nice color, and I just love it. So I paired it with this little Jacquemus bag that I got from Farfetch. This is actually a men's bag, but I was like, nah. But I was like, no. This is a gender fluid bag. And I thought that this looks so cute, but it is a little bit big. Because it is supposed to be for a man, I guess, but whatever, so cute. So keeping the keeping the sweater vest and returning the pants, hopefully I can get them in a petite though. All right, also I thought that I should mention that the pants, they are an elastic band, but they have no drawstring. They do have pockets, um, but they are, there's no drawstring. So they are even a little bit big on my waist, so I would have wanted a drawstring but I'm returning them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And they are a really breathable, nice linen. Forgot to mention that. All right, I saw these cute checkered pants. My assistant just rolled up. All right, so when I saw these shorts online, they were like calling to me. They also come in a few other patterns as well, and they do also come in pants. And they are sweat shorts, but they're not like thick at all. They're definitely like summer sweat shorts. And I just had a vision for this outfit. I wanted a little white bikini like this one, and then a white overshirt. And I feel like this is just such a cute beach look. And I got the shorts in an extra small, and they are $25, so super affordable. Um, the top is from Super Down, and I think it was like $10 or $12, revolve. And then this little overshirt is from Lulu's, but like a few years old, but I will link a few other ones. Uh, one of my favorites is from Abercrombie, and I will link that one below. Me and John share it, and it is just like so breathable and cute, but uh, I didn't want to <laughs> wear that right now because he's packing that for Mexico, and I didn't want to get it dirty. So yeah, super cute. I will be keeping the shorts. Okay, next is this little outfit. We have some knit pants. They are pink, they come in a few other colors. I got an extra small and they do fit well, but I feel like the crotch is like really long. Like maybe it's just because I'm super short that like they are supposed to be like, like this. <laughs> But I don't know, my torso can't handle that. My legs are definitely not long enough for these pants, possibly. Um, I still think that they're super cute, uh, but they are $55. They're $55. I feel like that's a little bit steep, um, especially for pants that don't fit you like super well. And then my male ladies here. The jury is still out if I'm going to keep these pants or not. Let me know in the comments if you think that I should keep them or if you think that I could find something better. And then I decided to pick up this cute little tank as lace detailing on these straps as well. I low key feel like I had this in like second grade, but we're just gonna like move past that, you know? I just spit everywhere too. Um, this I got in an extra small and this was $19. And then, like I said before, I got these in an extra small and they were $55. So I'm going to keep the top. Not sure about the bottoms. Let me know what you think. The same denim cutoffs as before, but I just paired it with this cute little knit top. 
What I like about this knit top is that a lot of knit tops you can almost like low-key see your nipples through. This one you cannot. It's like a super tight knit. Tight knit knit. It's a super tight knit knit. I don't know. Anyways, just look past the wonky cowboy hat for a second. Um, yeah, Amazon like really fucked this hat up, but whatever, it's fine. Sometimes I'm like, how do you expect me to wear this when there's literally holes where the knits are where my nips are supposed to be? So I really appreciate that and I really love that they thought of that. So your nipples are not going to be showing. Also, I got this in an extra small and it is $29. Probably one of my favorite pieces of the haul. And again, the denim shorts are absolutely amazing. I'm on a little caffeine break right now. And I'm pretty sure that the delivery people just delivered my blue apron to my neighbor. Okay, last but not least is this really fun print, this really fun print shirt. I got this in a size small. It does come in an extra small as well, but I got this in a size small because I wanted it a little bit oversized. Originally, I wanted to wear it with like some baggy white denim and have it just like open and maybe a little bra top, something like a crop top moment but then when i got it in i was like this actually makes for a really cute dress i have some zara heels on right now and i just feel like this is a really cute going out like vacation dinner look i love the pops of color and i just think that this is just such a cute look i am gonna go on the nordstrom website and see if they have this in a size medium because i really love it as a dress and as a dress i feel like i would be a little bit more comfortable in one size up so yeah i'm gonna look and see but this is the back it is a little bit longer in the back which makes me feel a little bit more comfortable but it is kind of short in the front especially if i'm going to be like wearing this on vacation like drinking and stuff like that but yeah, the heels are Zara and yeah, I just love. So that is the end of the video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to subscribe. You can come hang out with me over on Instagram. I'll put my handle right here. And yeah, let me know where else you want me to do try on hauls from because I have a really good time doing them. My credit card does not like it, but I like it. So yeah. Anyways, all right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.